Hi, I'm John Flynn with Mass Street Music, and we've been looking at all our employee pedal boards. Um, so I brought mine in. Mine has actually taken a little bit of a detour uh, where most of the guys have expanded their pedal boards, which is uh, fun and exciting to do. I've actually had to shrink mine down. And um, I had Michael Helwig build me this awesome pedal board. Uh, very small, but as you can see, you can get plenty of, plenty of pedals on there. Um, it's got a trap door underneath, my power supply and buffer underneath there. It's all neatly routed. I've got stereo outputs. Uh, I just have a single input, but you could wire it for a stereo input if you want as well. Um, and so uh, I've gone to uh, just the necessities. Most of the gigs I do, um, I want to be able to just walk in with my pedal board in one hand, my amp in the other hand, a double gig bag. I've even got some of these guitar stands that will go in my gig bag. So it's a one-trip thing, and it's... Uh, really works out quite nicely. So anyway, go through the basic setup. I mean, first thing I have is an Ernie, Paul, Ernie Ball VP Junior volume pedal. Um, I'm actually experimenting with some volume pedals right now, but this one seems to get the job done just fine. Uh, I love the way it feels, um, and it's not too big, so that's great. My uh, TU2 tuner, which I've had for a long time, which uh, does a great job. It's a world famous tuner. Um, and uh, no complaints there whatsoever. The first thing um, that I use uh, and is always on is my RC booster. And I use the RC booster to kind of regulate how much of the signal, how hard I want to hit the amp. So basically I'll get a good amp sound, I'll turn that on and just boost it just a shade and color it just a little bit. The tone controls on the RC booster are fabulous. This bass control is really cool. Um, instead of seeming like it boosts just a fixed frequency, it's almost like it adds more 12 inch speakers. It just has a good blooming effect and it's really awesome. So I use that just a touch of drive when the pedal is wide open. Um, but that's about it on that. And, and that is always on. I always have that pedal on. I love it. The next thing I just got this is an SP compressor uh, by Exotic. And um, this is of course, really hot right now. I'm still getting used to this one, but uh, it's uh, a very strong compressor in a little tiny package, which is great. My latest acquisition, and I love this, is the Strymon Flint. Uh, one of the most beautiful tremolo pedals you've ever heard in your life. Um, very versatile. It has all different types of settings that you can do and even hidden settings. And But uh, I'm basically just got it set in the 63 tube and um, it's wonderful. The reverb as well. Uh, I've got this one set on the seventies reverb. Um, that just seems to be my favorite. Although there is a load of good reverb sounds in here and in combination together, they just, uh, it just works beautifully. Uh, Strymon has an incredible reputation. It's very well earned. I could not be happier with that pedal. And then my number one pedal, a must have, uh, is my exotic AC booster. I feel like this is the most natural drive pedal I've ever played. I also love how it responds just like an amp. You turn it, your gain down, the drive goes down. It doesn't just get quieter. It, it responds just like an amp. It's, it's the one pedal that if I had to go anywhere and I could only take one pedal, I would be confident in taking this pedal and knowing that I could get a good sound out of almost any amplifier. So that's my number one. Um, this is my uh, Demi Demeter Fuzzulator. And um, I've gone through the whole fuzz craze as well as I think everyone else on the planet who plays guitar. Um, and there are so many great ones out there. And they all do different stuff to different degrees. And But I keep coming back to this one. I love it. Um, if you listen to Jeff Beck wired come dancing when he first comes goes into that guitar solo, which is just vicious. This is that pedal. Um, I know he wasn't using this, but I would swear he was. This wasn't built back then, but uh, so um, I love it. And then uh, further on down the line, um, I have in my collection of pedals loads of wonderful delays, but for live. I just, I think the DD20 is just amazing. First of all, it has uh, the ability to store five presets, and that's really important to me because um, I might do uh, 
lead worship, which I would need a certain settings for that, but then play with, like, say, a singer-songwriter. I need different delay settings for that. I uh, need different delay settings if I'm doing a session somewhere. So it's it's really nice to be able to store stuff in there and keep that uh, for me. So there's other delays that do that, but uh, I just thought I'd point that out. The uh, Giga Delay has a lot of great stuff, but I love the smooth delay. Uh, I think it just sounds beautiful. And one thing the Giga Delay has that I've yet to hear anything better is its modulated delay, uh, as I'll show you here in a little bit. It is simply gorgeous, and the dominant notes never get lost. They're never swimming in the delay somewhere, but you can just hear this thing bloom in the background. It's, it's, it's really amazing. So I love it. I've got that hooked up to a tap tempo switch so I can do that on the fly. And um, then last, but certainly not least, another pedal that is uh, on just countless thousands of pedal boards. And I can see why is the EP Booster. I, uh, I absolutely love this. I use this for solos. Um, I just step on it when I want to get out over the top. Um, it is absolutely incredible at keeping your signal relatively pure to what you've given it, but adding just a little top end to it and a little bit of thrust in the mids. Um, it's uh, fantastic. I actually would like to have two of them. I'd like to have one on all the time, but uh, I guess I got to figure out how to wiggle that around. So that's my board in a nutshell. It's about seven pedals shy of what it used to be, but it seems to be all that is necessary. But just like everybody else who's into this, um, I'm constantly trying out new pedals. They are a lot of fun. Uh, it's a great way to kind of uh, stimulate you to maybe push in a little different direction when you hear a little bit different drive uh, or a different delay or different modulation. So uh, it really makes it really makes it fun.